So are we happy to be here? Yeah. For natives of Arizona's Navajo Nation, home will always be the Grand Canyon State. We try and go back to Arizona as much as we can. It's really important for us to teach Evan about where he comes from. That's why these Navajo natives insist on celebrating their culture in a city of concrete. Brassi's husband Jackson is the executive director of Washington, D.C.'s Navajo Nation office. Washington, D.C. is so much different than the rest of um, Arizona, than the Navajo Nation. It's really great for us that, that are really um, away from our home communities. So to avoid forgetting their culture, they're teaching the younger generation traditional crafts and activities. I didn't know there was this many people like out in D.C. Like piecing together these traditional hair ties. <laughs> this is the finished product called a tziyesh. Your strands of hair are like thoughts. So if you let them just fall out, then your mind kind of runs, runs wild. <laughs> Dozens proved that home knows no boundaries and a nation's reach can span beyond borders. In Washington, Katie Beery, Cronkite News.